So Jesus appears to the apostles uh, once again uh, after the resurrection, this time on the Sea of Tiberias, where the, the apostles had gone out the night before to catch some fish and were not able to catch anything. And Jesus calls out to them, asking them if they caught anything. They said no. And he said, throw the net over to the uh, starboard side of the boat and you will catch some. And so they did, and they caught a bunch of, a bunch of large fish. And uh, St. John noticed that it was the Lord and told that to Peter. And Peter jumped in the sea and went to Jesus quickly in his impulsive love for our Lord and, and, uh, and goes to see him. And the other apostles come in and they find that Jesus had cooked breakfast for them with a fish and some bread there and calls them to come for breakfast. And he takes the, the uh, bread and breaks it and hands it to them and does the same with the fish. So he not only cooks the breakfast for them, but he, he serves, serves it and, uh, and gives it to the, to the apostles. I'm sure he did it in a very loving way. And of course, uh, our Lord shortly after that asks St. Peter if he loves him, which will be the reading for tomorrow. So we can see our Lord continuing to form the apostles in this, uh, in this loving way, this way where he, he comes and spends time with them and eats with them and spends this, this quality time with them, strengthening them. And you can imagine how strong they are becoming and being in the company of Jesus and growing deeper and deeper in love for, for our Lord. And this love for him, this formation that he's, Jesus is giving to them is for that they will go out and preach his name to the ends of the earth and being these apostles, the missionaries of our Lord. And that's exactly what they are doing in the, in the, the fir first reading when they had Peter and John had cured the, cured the, uh, the crippled and uh, the people, uh, the scribes and Pharisees, call them in to, to account for this good deed. They put them in prison that night and the next morning the whole Sanhedrin assembled because Peter and John had cured a, cured a cripple in the preaching in the name of Jesus. And so they're calling him to, to account for that and judging him and Peter turns the tables, turns the tables on them and uh, accuses them and confronts them for murdering Jesus. Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, and all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. It's in his name that this man stands before you healed. There is no other name under heaven given to human race by which we are to be saved, the name of Jesus. So they're truly doing what God is, Jesus has formed them to do, and they're doing it fearlessly. But the, this, their fearlessness is based on the love that they have for Jesus, so strong, and that they're ready to die for him. They're ready to preach him. They're ready to uh, defend him and preach his name to the people. And that because of their great love, their, their strength and their strength in the Holy Spirit that, that Jesus has given to them, they are willingly going preaching the name of Jesus and under no other name by which we are to be saved. So we too want to be, you know, with the, with the church's uh, liturgical cycle, the church's uh, teachings to us, our Lord and the Holy Spirit, continuing to strengthen us and to form us in the faith. Let us be formed in the love of Jesus as the apostles were so that we can go out and defend him as fearlessly as the Holy Spirit strengthens us and to, to teach others the name of Jesus in this godless world, in this, like, this uh, more and more less Christian-like world. We must preach the name of Jesus with this love for our Lord and this courage and, and to bring many big fish and small fish back to Jesus.